Hello everyone, it's UFO Jane from TexasUFOs.com and the Weird UFO Show. For today's video, we're not going to talk about alien spaceships. Instead, we're going to talk about the human ones, specifically the unmanned rockets and satellites we send up into space on the regular, and the potential threat they pose to all of us back here on planet Earth. As of today, March 26, 2018, the previously lost Chinese space station, the Tiangong-1, has now been found, from what I gather, and is hurtling back toward us Earthlings in a controlled crash. Specifically, it's headed toward the Southern Oregon region and the entire state of California on April 1st. So coming up, April Fool's Day 2018. Most of it is expected to burn up in the Earth's atmosphere most of it. And although hydrazine, a highly toxic and corrosive substance, may survive re-entry on pieces of space debris, the crashing space station overall apparently poses little risk to Earth. NASA and other space agencies from around the world, as well as private corporations like SpaceX, routinely launch objects up into space. The trouble is these are often one-way trips, and so these objects come crashing right back down to Earth, sometimes in the way a destructive meteorite would. Here are photos from the July 2016 crash of a, the Chinese Long March or Mark 7. This did break up in the Earth's atmosphere, which is the hope of scientists, but that doesn't always happen. Case in point, Peru 2018. This metallic sphere crash landed on Earth. It was presumed to be space junk, and clearly it did not break up in the Earth's atmosphere. Back in 2016, the United States Strategic Command claimed to track a total of 17,852 artificial objects in Earth's orbit, including 1,419 operational satellites. Is it not possible that some of the meteors we see are really, in fact, not meteors at all, but pieces of man-made spacecraft and satellites, so space junk? And how can we really know the difference? Here again, I'll compare the Chinese rocket breaking up in our Earth's atmosphere, and some other meteor photos and videos. I've always been confused by the carefree approach to launching giant, sometimes experimental craft up into space as if we don't have enough problems up there to worry about as is, but with all the near-Earth space rocks out there lurking. Let's not forget 2013 when a large meteor exploded over Russia and injured thousands, and other similarly frightened, I'm sorry, injured hundreds, um, and other similarly frightening cases of the sky essentially falling on us. I suspect we are just as likely to get wiped out by a man-made spacecraft as a natural asteroid that's locked into a natural Earth orbit. But what do you think? Am I right? Am I wrong? Are you worried about this out of control Chinese space station or others like it? Share your thoughts on this story and more in the comments below. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. As always, remember you can check out TexasUFOs.com for daily UFO and alien news, and this YouTube for weekly UFO videos and monthly episodes of the Weird UFO Show. Thanks, guys.